After being a heavy drinker for the better part of his life, Colin Farrell finally managed to quit his addiction at 30 years old. And he now hasn't drank for 15 years. You're going to learn all about how he did it, as well as why he checked back into rehab three years ago, coming right up. Born in Dublin, Ireland, in 1976, Colin Farrell was at a point being groomed to become a singer. Believe it or not, he actually auditioned for the famous Irish boy band Boyzone. The person who spotted him and brought him in for the audition was none other than Louis Walsh of X Factor fame. Fortunately for us, Colin couldn't sing to save his life. So his singing career was dead before it even started. Shortly after that, he attended acting school and before long, his acting career started to take off. He had his first major Hollywood role in 2000, when he played an army recruit in Joel Schumacher's Tigerland. But most of you probably first saw him in 2002's Minority Report, where he starred alongside Tom Cruise. Over the next few years, he would go on to have a string of major Hollywood roles, including 2004's Alexander and 2006 Miami Vice. But throughout all this, Colin was struggling with addiction. Since being a teenager, he had been drinking nonstop for 18 years. Here's how he once described it. For a long time, I put the brakes on. I could go mad for three, six months, and then I could pull back for a few months to try and re-enter the atmosphere. I just couldn't find the handbrake. In another interview, he talked about how he would mix alcohol with other drugs. When I ever drink with my mates, we'd go to a pub on a Wednesday night and have six pints, and everybody would go home. I'd get a bag of powder, four joints, and a bottle of Jack Daniels, and drank until five in the morning. In a 2017 interview with the Irish Sun, he opened up about how he now views some of the dark days. Quote, I wouldn't change anything in the past because then I wouldn't be here today. But there are times in the past where I hurt people and that I wish I could take back. And you can't. All you can do going forward is become a better person and learn from that and not hurt anybody in the same way that you did in the past. That's my personal karma. After drinking for close to two decades, Farrell finally stopped in 2006. Here's how it happened. Whilst he was filming Miami Vice, he felt that things got really out of hand. As he describes it, when he went to watch the movie's premiere, it was one of the most bizarre experiences of his life. He was watching himself on the screen, but couldn't remember shooting a single scene of it. Straight after that, he got on a plane and went to rehab. In a 2010 interview, Farrell elaborated on his sobriety. I'm just grateful that I'm actually alive, he said. Adding that sobriety had given him back, quote, eight hours a day now that I didn't have before when I was drinking every day for 18 years. What he really singled out in the interview was the amount of lying that he had to do to keep his addiction alive. Quote, the amount of energy that you have to put in and the amount of lies that you have to tell to keep a drug habit alive, it's fairly significant. Basically, your whole life is a lie. As we saw, a big motivation for Colin to change his life around was the birth of his son, James, in 2003. This was from his then-girlfriend at the time, Kim Bordenave. The couple had since been divorced. Colin would go on to have another child with Polish actress Alicia Backlader. In 2018, a full 12 years since his first rehab, Colin checked himself into rehab once again. Nope, he hadn't had a relapse. He hasn't had a drink since 2006. But after a crazy schedule featuring three back-to-back -back movies, something didn't feel quite right. The Hollywood star was concerned about the pressure that he had been building up and he needed some time for himself. So he checked into rehab as a quote, preventative measure. As a source close to the star told the British tabloid The Sun, quote, he decided to preemptively check himself in before it went to a bad place. He didn't want to go down that rabbit hole once again. Now guys, I'm not sure about you, but I really respect and admire that decision. Knowing that if you don't get help, things can get worse. Well, it takes a lot of courage to actually go and ask for that help. Let me know what you think about that in the comment section below. That'd be really cool to hear from you. Now, as you might have guessed, the clinic Colin checked himself into was not what you'd call cheap. At $36,000 a month, the Meadow Clinic in Wickenburg is one of the most expensive clinics in Arizona. Among the many programs on offer are horse riding, yoga, tai chi, acupuncture, neurofeedback, and meditation courses. Some of the facilities include a swimming pool, a fitness center, and relaxation areas. The program course runs for 45 days. Other celebrities who have visited the treatment center include Kevin Spacey, 
Tiger Woods, Naomi Campbell, and none other than Harvey Weinstein, who checked in there for sex addiction treatment. Farrell successfully completed his treatment and continues to enjoy close to a decade and a half of sobriety. Today, Farrell's net worth is estimated at $80 million, and his primary residence is in Los Angeles, California. We look forward to seeing him on the big screen again in this year's The Batman. The film is slated to debut in early March. Hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Have a great day.